We're on a manufactured home. It doesn't have any gutters. Looks like it never came with gutters. And when it rains, the water just drains right off the roof and goes down alongside the foundation. And the crawl space is ending up wet underneath there with all this rain right around the foundation. So this video is about how to put your own gutters and uh, downspouts on. It's a fair amount of work and you have to be careful because this metal, the sheet metal is sharp. And so um, if you're not sure, maybe use a pair of gloves just to protect your hands. The gutters just simply screw right onto here. It's about 44 feet all the way across this. So what I'm going to do is in the middle make that the high point and then it'll drain at a quarter inch per 10 feet in each direction towards the ends of the building. I have a number of 10 foot sections and they were a little over five dollars each. I put the first two sections together. All these parts are located in the same, including the sealant, are located in the same vicinity as the gutters. There's a everything you need is there in the hardware store. Hopefully the next one I can do a little more neatly and not have to do so much cleanup. The gutter stops right at the edge of the house, so the downspout can go almost to the end of the gutter.
want the water to flow that way and down the downspout. It's two 10 foot pieces and it needs to fall at least a quarter of an inch for each 10 feet. So for 20 feet, it needs to fall about that far. So this end, I'm going to put about this far below that red line, the red line's level. What I did was pulled it tight, looked at the bubble, then took the bubble off and snapped it so I could hold that part still that kind of sags with the level on it. But, so I knew where the places were that it would be level. Now that end I'm going to put half inch low. There needs to be some space here in case ice slides off the roof. to it. I will assemble that other piece that goes that way and it's going to flow that way so this will be the high point and I'll put one of those slip joints. So I'll put this on the assembly that will go the rest of the distance and then slide it on and lock it all together and the next piece will drain that way. Okay, it's finally up. It was a fair amount of work. It was a lot of work. And this is what it looks like. These joints are a little messy with the caulking. And this could be spray painted and it would look better, but I haven't done that yet. And so that's it. It's they're up. They they are solid and the next step you can see at the bottom I'm going to take some hose and run the drain further out into the yard. 